What are you thinking about pulling me over? County, 24. I mean, I could have you fired tomorrow. Backup is underway. No one is above the law. What are you thinking about pulling me over? Ma'am, go back to your car. I will be with you in a second. You better check the registration on my plate, officer. County, 24-8. Traffic stop. 24-8. 163 in Washington. Tag verification, beta, November, Foxtrot, 938. Registered to Judge Susan Adams. 10 4. Ma'am, get back inside. No, of I'm your not going to get back into my car. Why did you stop me? It's like you were swerving from side to side. I was not swerving. Ma'am, can I see your license, registration, and proof of insurance? <sighs> really? Are we done here? No, we're not. I am a local district judge. I suggest that you let me go right now. I'm sorry, judge. No can do. Okay, would you understand all the trouble that I can get you in? I mean, I could have you fired tomorrow if I wanted to, so please, just let me go and we will forget all about it. Ma'am, I am just trying to do my job. Well, if you knew what was right for you, officer, then you would let me go now. Sorry, no can do. What is wrong with you? Wait, wait, are you new to the department or something like that? Well, in fact, I am new. I started last month. Okay, well that explains things a little bit. Um, look, I'm gonna cut you a little slack because you're brand new with what happened here today. So you walk back to your car and I'm gonna walk back to my car and we're gonna forget this whole thing happened. Ma'am, please, this will only take a few minutes. I'm going to write you a ticket oh. for an illegal lane change and then you'll be out of here in 10 minutes. What, you're, really, you're gonna write me a ticket, seriously? Ma'am, it is a non-criminal violation. The ticket is $85. You can pay for it online or you could fight for it in court. Oh, so you're really gonna go through with this? Wow. Incredible. You are in big trouble, sir. Okay. Okay, I think I've got all the proof I need now. Proof of what, ma'am? Proof of you holding me against my will. I'm not holding you against your will. I'm writing you a ticket for a traffic offense that you just committed. Well, you know, we'll see about that because I think it's gonna be my word against your word, isn't it? And wow, let's see, I'm a judge in this district, hmm, 20 years, and you've been on the force, I'm sorry, what did you say, four weeks? Good luck with that, pal. County, 24-8. 24-8, go ahead. Request for backup. Copy that, backup is underway. What, what are you doing? Why are you calling backup? What is wrong with you? I just need a witness, that's all. A witness for what? Like you said, it was your word over mine. So once I get a fellow officer here as a witness, then he'll be able to cooperate. You know, actually, that's a really, really good idea because I know everyone in this police department, so whoever shows up to be your witness is definitely going to tell you you're wasting your time. Please sign here. I'm not going to sign anything. Ma'am, this is not an admission of guilt. 
You can still fight for this in court. And now you're telling me how the process works? Still not signing anything. Ma'am, sign it. It's the law. Okay, you're not very quick on the uptake, are you? I'm not signing anything. Gosh. Oh, Captain Porter, thank goodness you're here. Nice to see you. Hello, Judge Adams. Hey, Captain. Tell me, what's going on here? Well, your rookie cop pulled me over for an illegal lane change, and, you know, I told him who I was, and, well, here we are. <laughs> Interesting. So, my officer requested backup for a mere traffic violation. <laughs> I know, it's so silly. <laughs> it's so silly. Officer Brown, why don't you give me your side of the story? Yes, Captain. So, I saw her swerving across the road, so I stopped her. She also said that she was a local judge and used that to dissuade me into not giving her a ticket. She also said that she fired me if I didn't let her go. That's not true, Captain. I judge, got judge, please, don't interrupt. Continue. She said that it was her word against mine and said that no one would believe a rookie cop over a 20-year judge. And she also refused to sign the traffic citation. Judge, is any of this true? No, no, no. They're all lies. I mean, I mean, I did tell him I was a judge, but that's all I said. You know, this isn't the first time I've got a complaint about you trying to bribe or strong on one of my officers. What are you talking about? You know exactly <sighs> what I'm talking about. And I find it ironic that this officer, as green and inexperienced as he is, was willing to stand up to you. Whatever. You don't have proof. So listen, why don't you just write me the ticket and we'll call it a day. <laughs> I mean, come on. This is silly. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not getting away with this today. What do you mean? Judge Adams. Somehow you were able to turn a minor traffic infraction into a major criminal offense. You refused to sign his ticket and you tried to blackmail him. And on top of that, with the other complaints I have from other officers about you doing the same thing, I believe I have enough to get you disbarred. What? No, come on, please. Captain, not that. Officer Brown, arrest her. I hold this. Seriously? No, listen, listen, I'm sorry. No, I, I, really, I, Captain, I'm sorry, okay? Not this, not this. No one is above the law. You have a good day. Unbelievable. Hey, watch my phone. Stop it. I can't believe this is happening. God, how did this happen? <laughs> <laughs>